Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Ellis. One of my followers on the website came back at me and disagreed with my position that calories in, calories out, or the calorie theory dictates body weight regulation. And of course, what was his evidence or opinion that suggested otherwise? It's a popular one today. It's the one touted by Gary Taz, by Jillian Michaels. It's that hormones control body weight and body fat. Hormones. Now we need to do some basic physiology here to understand how this all works. It's basic mundane physiology, which I don't suspect any of those people or any of the other people are arguing over hormones about. Now, let's use the pancreas. Pancreas releases insulin and it releases glucagon. Insulin is a fat storage hormone and glucagon stimulates the liver to manufacture ketone bodies. But what is the stimulus for the pancreas to release these two hormones or any part of the body like the adipose tissue which releases leptin? There has to be a stimulus. Hormones work down line. They're messengers. They're telling the cells what to do in response to things that are happening in the body. So it turns out that different foodstuffs, the diet composition you eat, will dictate the hormonal release pattern. So for example, a high carbohydrate diet will cause the pancreas to release insulin. And if you're releasing a lot of fat from the fat cell, and that's going to the liver, the glucagon will be released, which stimulates the liver to make ketone bodies. So it's not hormones that control. They're just carriers of information. And there has to be a stimulus to cause the body to release a hormone. And food is the primary stimulus. So that's how that works. And as I say, this is just basic physiology. You pick up any physiology textbook and you can read all about it in there. So that's how it works. I'm Greg Ellis.